President Donald Trump on Wednesday complained that Fox News has been letting millions of great people down by giving his 2020 campaign too much negative coverage, which is laughable in light of the fact that the right-wing cable news outlet has been, on the whole, quite favorable to his presidency. And one of Trump's ardent defenders at Fox Business is Stuart Varney, who was in denial when former Rep. Joe Walsh appeared on his show and asserted that Trump lies on a regular basis. The far-right Walsh, who is challenging Trump for the 2020 GOP presidential nomination, described Trump as the president who we fundamentally can't believe, and added, I do believe he lies virtually every time he opens his mouth. When Barney asked Walsh to cite an example, the former congressman turned radio host responded that Trump lied this week when he said there were high-level phone calls between the United States and China. Varney disagreed with that example, and Walsh got more specific, saying, Stewart, he said there were high-level phone calls with Chinese officials. His staff admitted that was not true, that he lied in order to manipulate the market. This exchange between Stuart Varney and Joe Walsh is oddly reminiscent of the torture scenes from 1984. Varney challenges Walsh, name an example of Trump lying. Walsh names one. Varney denies it. Walsh, do you believe he's ever told the American people a lie? Varney, no, pick that twitter.com slash xkid shikwanda, Eric Kleefeld, at Eric Kleefeld, August 30th, 2019 Walsh asked Varney, do you believe this president lies? You don't believe he has ever lied, to which Varney responded, he exaggerates and spins, Walsh pressed on, asking Varney, you don't believe he has ever told the American people a lie? And Varney responded, no, enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Alternet is increasing its original reporting, edited by the nation's Joshua Holland, with a focus on 2020 election coverage. We've also launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focusing on the issues, not Donald Trump's tweets. Unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our Alternet 2020 coverage free to all. But we need your ongoing support to continue what we do. Alternet is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. From unflinching coverage of white nationalism, to spotlighting the overlooked struggles of the working poor, Alternet continues to speak truth to power. As newspapers close, America needs voices like Alternet's to be sure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism. As Silicon Valley absorbs more and more advertising dollars, ads don't pay what they used to. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Help ensure Alternet remains independent long into the future. Support progressive journalism with a one-time contribution to Alternet, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click here to donate by check. Let's block ads. Why?